Shot Show 2017. I'm here with custom knife maker Tony Bowes. How are you doing, man? I'm doing fine. Tell us about yourself. I've just always been crazy about knives. I, I started out doing a little pocket knife repair and I made some fixed blades, but I thought if I could fix a pocket knife, I could make one. I found out it was a lot harder than that. But I've been, I've been fooling with these things for 45 years and still learn things. Wow. Have you always done folding knives? Mostly. Since about 1975, I've done folding knives. And uh, I finally got onto the national market, and that's when Case came calling. And uh, I do a lot of design work with them. And what I do is bring back old patterns from the grave. Sometimes, sometimes I'll uh, design something new, like the, the, zoo, the tribal spear and the landing split or something like that. And I want to play Trapper with something that nobody had done that I did. And I, I, just, I just look for classic old designs you can't go to the hardware store and buy now. That's what we try to bring back. And I've done, I've done over 20 knives with Case. We do a yearly collaboration, which is... Uh, Made out of high end materials, 154 cm steel, stainless frames, pinned on shields. The, the relief build, uh, the liners also scratch the blade when it closes. And it's a, as close to custom as you can get, and it gives people to get a, 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 piece, a chance to get a piece of me for a fraction of the price of what I charge. Because I quit, I quit taking orders several years ago, and I just kind of do what moves me. Well, somebody, that, somebody will buy it, you know what I mean? Yeah, that answers my next question. So you're not doing a lot of custom knives uh, to order anymore, is that correct? Not to order, sometimes I do. If they get me interested in something, it's probably going to happen. But I, I usually just go out the shop and do what I want to. Uh, I like to fool around with something new every once in a while and, and take care of old loyal customers things like that. I'm in the, at the age and the, the position now where I can do that and it's uh, it's a good life. I just love it. I'll never quit till I can't do it anymore. Now don't, you don't have to drop names if you don't want to but uh, I, I hear that you've done a lot of custom knives for some pretty high profile folks. Well I, I have. I've, I've made knives for James Spader and, and David Mammon for a couple. I found out those guys were just like everybody else with knife lovers. They were, they were very polite, unassuming people. Uh, I made knives for a grocery boy in Georgia, and I treat them all the same. Nice. So talk about um, what what case is introducing this year uh, out of your designs. Well, for the catalog item, we're doing a, a, a we done a tribal spear here three or four years ago as a limited edition. And we decided to put it in a catalog, and the catalog is a mid-lock. It's right here behind, behind me. They're doing it in nine different handle materials. It's a catalog item, and it's, it's really a neat knife. And they, they've got this one that's a shot show knife. It's got my signature on the blade, and it's, it's a mid-lock. And what I like about that is if you're using it and you want to close it, you, you, can, you can do it with one hand without having to get the other hand off. You got blood and you got on the other one, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Absolutely. Regular tail lock, you got to hold it and get back here and unlock it. These, these are really neat. They're thin, they're an easy carry, and they're really a good price for what they are. Yeah. It's a tribal lock, what we're talking about. Tribal lock. I'm really interested in that one, actually. You said that's a SHOT Show exclusive, right? Yeah, have, that has to be ordered here. Have to, I'm, I'm kind of thinking about ordering one. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to order it through a deal, right? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll figure out how to do that at some point, yeah. but yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, they're pretty neat. Then, for the yearly thing, we're doing a Eureka Jack. It's right over here. Okay. These, these right here, they're doing five different handle materials. Okay. Eureka Jack is a very old, very rare pattern in, uh, in antique knives. I, I think I've got six antique ones that's more I've ever seen in one place. Mm -hmm. they're, pretty, they're pretty rare, but it's just a, it's just a real fancy, neat jack knife that usually had a pin blade in it with a spear. 
but now you got some two blades, just slide, so I change it to one blade piece, which I think will make it a handier knife. Nice. Any other designs in the case you'd like to address? I've done quite a few with them, and they, they've all been pretty successful, I think. But in the catalog, we've done the Sal Bella and the Saddle Horn and the Swayback Jack and the Teardrop as we went along. Because I, I, we, we put our first knife out in 1999, and we put a yearly knife out ever since. Uh, out of high grade materials. And I, I don't know how many catalog knives I've got. About every two or three years, we, we put one in there at that time. So I've been with them, I guess, 18 years now. Wow. And, uh, they're good folks. They treat me like an Olympic champion, and I can't say enough about them. And, and I, ho I hope I've helped them. Well, we, we've come to expect quality from Case Knives, and it's great to see uh, the touch of a master kind of helping out with some of that. Well, so. I don't know about that, but thank you for that anyway. Well, Tony, thanks so much for talking to us. You're welcome. We're at Case Knives SHOT Show 2017.